Uh, this is Tom Spear, his Hall of Fame jacket when he was inducted into the, the International or the Our National Hall of Fame. I'm Jerry Todd. I live in Arvada, Colorado, and I am the power of attorney for Tom Spear. So I just want to see your names here. Horton. He's Horton. A, Horton's Colorado. You know, he's no? got a connection to Colorado, but no, I think he's from Minneapolis. Oh, okay. This is going to turn out to be right here. Yeah, again, he's, you know, he's one of those guys, he's retired, he makes a comeback, he retires, he makes a comeback, so. And, oh, look at him, he's serious. He's got his game face on. Tom's one of those guys that if you uh, went into, you know, at one time, any bar that had a foosball table, there was probably, uh, if someone took it serious enough, they would know the name Tom Spear. He, he's a legend. He. They always still talk about how methodical he was and what a great five bar he has. And uh, anytime someone brings up the greats, his name's always mentioned. So he's still, still remembered to this day, even though he hasn't really played in a tournament in over a decade. I'm sure most people dismiss him at a first glance and don't realize, you know, just all the, the things he's accomplished over his life and, you know, that he's uh, a world champion and uh, just, you know, I, I consider him a, a genius. I had heard about the foosball and that he was a foosball champion. And, and so when I saw the video of him, it, it excited me, but it kind of gave me chills too because I see glimpses of him um, when he's really happy. Um, when I've, I've gone out to talk to him and he's just like, I'm loving life and he'll say stuff like that. And, and I saw that in him back then. And so that's where I get the free spirit. I think somewhere under there, he's just always been kind of a free spirit and doing his own thing. And um, unfortunately, I think what's happened along the way, he, there's just not a place he feels he fits in. Well, I think that if you meet someone special in your life that it can help you want to get better and, you know, you want to get better for them. So, uh, yeah, that would be great for Tom. It would be great for him to have a happy ending. You just never know which Tom you're going to get. You might get a, the Tom who's really uh, full of life and energetic and wants to interact with people or you might get the Tom who is very suspicious of you and wants to know what your motives are. and you know, just, you know, he thinks that you might want to do him harm or use any information against him. Uh, so you just really never know which time you're going to get. It's 12.47. It's already tomorrow. 12.47 in the morning. All right, so it's 43 degrees out. It's not even that cold. It's not like winter yet, but I want to go. You want to go see where he is? Yeah. We'll find Tom. Two weeks ago, I think it was, he was sleeping just on the sidewalk. Two weeks ago. Just... And you would have to be looking for him to see him. That's how sly he is. He was in the, he was in the dark. He wasn't under, like, a street lamp or anything. And because I was looking for him, I found him. Tom Spear used to have a little a table in one of these shops. And that shop that he was talking about where he goes downstairs, right here. See where it says pool? That's the old pool hall. And down those stairs, right down there, is where Tom used to have a table. You know, the first time I ever saw him, he owned an arcade in Arvada, and as you would go down the stairs, you would look and he had all his trophies. 
uh, displayed alongside, you know, as you're going down. And when you go to the bottom of the stairs, you know, you, when you looked over, you could see the foosball table and he was on there playing. And uh, my buddies, you know, they worship, worshiped him at the time. He's not there. Bummer. <laughs> he can disappear. He can disappear and just and not be around and, and nobody has seen him. We have a turnover right there, an opportunity for Spear to score instead. The opponent's now in possession of the ball. In the form of Swan who clears the zone. Allison can't grab it off the rebound. Rolls back to the goalie area of Scotty Wyman. 1995 goalie of the year. Scott.